Hello everybody and welcome to another squad recap for June 2018. Oh, I'm so looking forward to all this content, so let's just jump right into it. Alright, as you can see, Abrams, armor components. Oh my lord, this is just so awesome. As you can see right here, the squad devs have been not only implementing armor systems into this game, but they're going to be putting, you know, you hit a vehicle in this spot, it's going to fuck up the engine. You hit a vehicle in this spot, it hits the arm or ammo. So, yeah, I'm so looking forward to that stuff. But, like, ah, excitement. There's going to be a suppression system coming into the game soon, and we'll play this little video, so it'll be fun to watch if it actually wants to load. But, obviously, those of you that don't know about suppression, when you shoot at somebody, it's supposed to fuck them up, make it harder for them to shoot back. Obviously, this isn't wanting to fully load for me, so I can't show you the awesomeness that this is. But, you get the general consensus. You have a machine gun, you shoot at a bunch of enemies, they're supposed to keep their heads down. Simple shit like that. Spawn system overhaul. This is going to be really interesting. Because you can no longer stretch a hab, what, 200 meters away from a fob? So this way, when the enemies are attacking the hab, they're not messing with the fob spawn timer. So now the hab is a timer. When enemies get close, it screws up the timer. So it's going to take away from the meat grinder style gameplay that is V11. Rally points are going to be wave spawn, so you can't just spawn whenever you want. You have certain timers, so you can only spawn like every 10 seconds, every 15 seconds. Then everybody can push in together. This right here is game changing. The revive system. Bandages are revival tools now. You no longer have to wait for a medic to get you up. Now, one of your squad mates can run over to you, rip open their bandage, put it on you, and bam! You're good. You come back to life. It's going to take a bit longer, but you can still come up. Now, players do not regenerate stamina until healed by the medic. You still need a medic. I mean, it's always good to have a medic in your squad, regardless. So, huge right here. User interface. Look at the prettiness. And it just just separates everything. Like, so beautifully. Like, ah, oh, that's so amazing. Obviously, it's not fully developed yet, but it's looking awesome. Fire teams. Here's a really good part of squad that's, you know, been requested by a lot of people in the community. Fire teams. Being able to divide your squad into separate little groups to... Go do stuff is awesome. So, fire team leaders get their own markers, you know, to help coordinate stuff. And it gives squad lead the ability to be like, hey, you, take these guys, go do your thing, so he can concentrate, or she, can concentrate on the bigger picture. And it gives people an opportunity to kind of step into that leadership role, like right here. Learn the leadership position before the big squad lead role. But here's the big stuff. The big boom booms. The M1A2 Abrams tank. And all of its glory. Ugh. Obviously they have two iterations of camo. Might be more coming on, you know, for a winter map or something like that. We don't know. But still. Just. Ugh. Crow. MG. That big ass fucking can. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me, let me get back on topic here. But the M1A2 Abrams is just coming together so nicely. Abrams is going to have a vehicle commander loader seat with both of its own couple machine guns. What? Like, that's awesome. And it's just... Ah. Uh, it's just, just so much fun. So much fun. Let's check this out if it wants to actually play. Nope. Anywho. Bradley's on undergone some changes too. I can't show it to you, but you get the gist. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Riflemen will now be able to deploy ammunition bags, which will help out your squad mates. Because I have not counted the amount of times that somebody's like, hey, I need ammo. Hey, I need ammo. Squad lead, can you put down an ammo crate? 
Well, I can't because I'm not near a fob, so I can't just magically make it appear. Boom! Now I can be like, hey, Rifleman, throw down an ammo bag for the medic. Hey, Rifleman, throw down an ammo bag for the lap. Problem solved. So awesome. And then obviously it shows them resupplying and whatnot. The RPG-29. So. This is going to be the hat system. Basically replacement or new implement of. And it's just. Uh, one shot pop. It's going to be a brutal weapon on the battlefield. It's going to be fun to see. And I look forward to it. Now, here's something else that I'm so grateful for. New maps! We've been needing new maps for so long. You got this simple, vast desert map. And it's just going to be... This is going to be where the, you're going to see a, probably a lot of armor. Stuff like that. You got the airfield. You know, cities, whatnot. Fun stuff. But as you can see with these pictures, it's just... Lots of wide open area. So, be interesting to see how people play this out. Like, put a fob right here, or a fire base, or something like that. You know, fun stuff. Fortify the little barracks thing right here. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't, I can't ever say this at all, so I'm not even going to try. But it's getting an update. So, devs have been putting in a lot of time and work to make this map look and feel brand new. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out, but I mean, it is looking gorgeous. Just absolutely hats off to the devs on this shit. Like, this is just, this is beautiful. I really look forward to playing these new maps when they, new map and updated map when they actually come out. So, short, sweet update, tons of content for y'all. And I got to ask you guys, Please, 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 please come out July 6th. I'm starting at 8 a.m. on my Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash StrikerC123. All donations will go to the Disabled American Veterans stream. Or not stream, their charity. Please, please, if you don't want to donate, or if you want to directly donate to them, I'll have a link somewhere down below. I'll update my profile, my Twitch page when you know the time comes. But please... Please come out. If you can't, if you got, if you have no money to donate, just come out. Say hey, support, love you, whatever you want to do. But this is huge. Twenty-four hours, everything's going to them. Great charity. It's a non-profit. I can't stress this enough. Like these guys are amazing. They help out all the veterans that have so many problems when other organizations just absolutely fail them. So please, and thank you, much love from Stryker. I'll see you guys on the battlefield.